Hello, my name is Ron Nash and I have a few items here today which we are selling. We have a Disney collectible. We, it is a goofy phone and I'll demo it for you right here. He actually just snores and... Very cute, very cute item. Very collectible, hard to find. And uh, I'm asking $35 for this item. Over here, we have an M&M &M phone has a digital clock here as you can see the, the clock is working we have a radio in this too as you can hear you can tune it very collectible item hey, I'm asking $35 for this phone also how much did you want for that again? It's thirty-five dollars for this phone. Okay, now over here we have another Disney item. This is a Mickey Mouse phone. I'll demo this one for you also. I guess it's pretty cute. Real cute, real cute item to have. How much did you want for that one? That phone is $35 also. We have a Coca-Cola phone. And you hook it up online and, and the, the phone rings. It will actually uh, light up and blink let you know that it's lit up. It does take batteries in the back for that. This phone is also $35. Okay, right here we've got a a vending machine cookie jar. New in the box. It stands at 11 and 3 quarter inches high. Beautifully made. As you can see, it has a, an original price tag on it for $24.95. So I'm asking $25 for this item. Yeah, we got some uh, M&M dispensers. This one looks like a jukebox. In the back, what you would do, you would pull this down, fill it up with your favorite candy, M&M's, put it back up, and then you would come around here and push the top of this box, and it would release them right here in the tray for your service, for your favorite candy. We have the same thing over here, another dispenser. You just take the lid off, fill it up with your candy, and you pull the handles down on the guy here, the, the little golfer, and it will come rolling out right here for your candy. How much did you want for those two dispensers? Those dispensers are $6 a piece. Okay, we have a, a wild thing roller coaster dispenser. Taking you fill it up inside here of your favorite candy. Which would be M&M of course. Made for M&M. And you take and pull down right here. Like, like so there and it would dispense it right here. This item is also $6.
have another distension here we fill up here at the top on both sides and you it would dispense right here when you pull the guy's leg down pretty cute One is made like a football, football player. Pretty cute. Okay, we it up in the back also, right here. Which is candy. We pull the arm down here. It comes shooting out right here out of the helmet. That dispenser is six dollars. They have a basketball dispenser. You. Pull the arm down on it like that. You come out the side here. Same thing, you'd fill it up in the back. And this guy here, obviously you can see where that comes out. Right here. Pull his arm down like that. You can come out the side over here in his hand. That's six dollars also as well. Okay, we've got this one made like a regular gum machine here. You take and fill it on the top, and just turn this, lift off, fill it up here on top. You, you just clean it. Push this little button on the side right here. And it would dispense out here like a regular gum machine. That's six dollars. And all these M&Ms are highly collectible. Have and unique. you need to here. Fill it up in the back also. Right here with your candy. And it would dispense right out front here. As you can see right here. Lifts his legs up. Comes out the bottom. Something nice right to give your this, grandkids right or tray. something nice to give your grandkids or children. Got another one right here. Fill up in the back also. Pull his arm down. And dispense right out here into the other hand. That's also six dollars. Okay, we got a pretty unique, cute little item here. And it's, it's called a Rebel. Like a little hot rod, Rebel without a clue. It is also a dispenser. It's in the box. It's just like brand new. It's got $15 on this item here. It'll be a nice gift for someone. Very collectible item. Okay, we turn to a John Deere gas pump. As you can see, it is a bank right here. It appears to be right here's the. We turn this. This is ten dollars. Search your coins right here into the side of the bank. Okay, these uh, <coughs> pro hardware items are all die cast banks, new in a box. I have a 38 Chevy panel truck. We have a 1940 Ford pickup. These are all in the box. Never been opened. They are still in the plastic. <clears throat> Very collectible item for someone. 
It has the paperwork with it inside, right here. You can see, brand new in the box. All these banks are $15 a piece. 56 Ford, 46 Chevy. We have a 31A, 31 Model A panel delivery bank. And we have a 31 Hawkeye truck bank right here where's the 38 Chevy truck okay we have a bobblehead Elliot Sander as you can see on here it's a collectible item it's got M&Ms on on the front of his suit there this is also in the box it's got his name down here at the bottom of the stand which it sets also a limited edition made by Forever Collectibles as you can see right here the legends of the track very collectible item by NAS NASCAR approved NASCAR licensed item ten dollars on that item <clears throat> we have some Coca-Cola bobbleheads, very heavy, heavily made, very collectible. Each of them are holding a, a bottle of pop. This one is a Tony Stewart, right here. We have a Bobby Labonte, Bobby Labonte right here. All very collectible items. Coca-Cola, NASCAR. We have Ricky Rudd right here. And last but not least, we have a, a Dale Jarrett bobblehead. All these items here are eight dollars a piece. All the bobbleheads, eight bucks a piece. Now this is a Pro Hardware Coupe Express Model J5 is a 37 Studebaker truck. It's all in the box, new. About fifteen dollars for that item. Okay, here we have a, a Coca-Cola item. Santa Claus on his holiday touring car. As you can see, it was uh, made in 1998. 1998. I want uh, $15 for that item. <clears throat> okay, we got some die casts cars officially licensed by NASCAR by uh, Team Caliber it's number 16 National Guard 1.24 scale that's also ten dollars we have racing champions 1.24 scale die cast stock car it's a community series, nice NASCAR gold. It's one of 2,500. 50th anniversary. I want $15 for that item. I have a 69 Camaro, one of the muscle machines. Right here. I want. Uh, Ten dollars for that item. Mm K. 
Okay, we have a WWF a Wrestling World Wrestling Federation item. Radical Rides. It's also a die cast. I went ten dollars on that item. You get a Urtel Case International tractor with mechanical front drive. Meaning these parts are movable on this. I went ten dollars on this item. Okay. All right, we have a Seth Thomas Westminster chime clock. It's got a nice case on it. As you can see, and it is also electric, made in the middle to later 60s. As you can see back here, the, the movement and where the chimes will strike right here on the hour and half hour. I want uh, $65 for that one. Okay, I have a Waterbury clock right here, which has the key with it. And you see the movement right back here. Okay. Pendulum, pendulum movement. Okay. That's a clock was made in 1912, 1913. Very nice item. I got $60 on that. Okay, and we got a couple more clocks in here we want to show you that we didn't take off the wall. We have a West German made pre-World War II Black Force Cuckoo Clock. It'll cuckoo on the half hour and on the hour. I've got $75 on that. Also we have this My Can Cuckoo Clock. Pre-World War II. It cuckoos on the half hour and the hour. That is also $75. As you can see, it's in good shape. We can turn it. And you can watch it cuckoo. Okay, we can go up here and just move it on up here. See the little birdie? Pretty cute. Show this one in a little bit more detail with the light on it. See it a little more. Okay, then we can turn this hand on this one. Mm -hmm. See a little birdie pop out there. We can go up here. That's yeah, pretty cute. So, as you see, they, they were both these clocks are $75 a piece. And on the wall over here, we have a Hamilton 31 day clock. I'm asking $50 for that one. The key is in the back of it right there. It's also an old clock. Right here we have a another Coca-Cola clock of a baseball field. I want twenty-five dollars for that item. That should round it all up there and sum it all up. Alright, tell people how they can contact you. My name is Ron Nash. You can uh, leave messages on Facebook. 
My phone number is 765-662-6944. Anytime during the day or any afternoon after 3 o'clock, someone right. will be here to answer the phone. If you got any questions, All right, any that's, that's Ron Nash on Facebook, 662-6944. You've seen this video on Grant County Classifieds on Facebook. That's Facebook.com, Grant County Classifieds. Thanks.